Jed here to demonstrate how to raise your hand during a go-to meeting and use the reaction feature. Raising your hand during an in-person meeting is a great way to get the attention of the presenter. GoTo provides a way to do this virtually. I'll show you how this feature works for an organizer as well as regular attendees. I'll be using the desktop app for this video, but the meeting experience of GoTo can be accessed at this site. I've already signed in as the user Lance Bingham and I've started a meeting. The button used for the hand raise and reaction features is called React and is located in the bottom left corner. Let's start with what happens when the button is clicked from the viewpoint of the meeting organizer or co-organizer. First off, notice that a hand icon appears to the left of a meeting attendee's name if they click the react button. All meeting attendees see this notification. Secondly, notice the see all raise hand section in the top left corner. All meeting attendees see this notification. Let's click on that to see what an organizer or a co-organizer would see. All meeting attendees will see a list of those who raised their hand in order. Regular meeting attendees will only see the list of who has raised their hand. Organizers and co-organizers, however, can click the lower all hands button to clear out this list. If they only want to remove a single name, however, they can click on it. Now let's talk about the reaction option with the react button. Instead of clicking it, hover over it. We already know what the raise your hand option does, but take note of the quick reactions. These are icons that can be clicked to react to something during a meeting without speaking. When clicked, all meeting attendees will see the reaction and who sent it for a brief moment on the right side of the screen. The quick reactions can be used as often as you like. That's all there is to using the hand raising and reaction features during the meeting in GoTo.